After 10 weeks of winter workouts, Montana State football returned to the field Tuesday afternoon for their first of 15 spring practices. And their approach this year as head coach Brent Vegan enters his third year with the Bobcats is nearly identical to last year's spring period, and that's continuing to build depth. That's not just your young guys continuing to develop. It's, it's your older guys, your experienced guys continuing to become the best versions of themselves. So that, you know, on any given Saturday, you know, we're able to play the number of guys we want to play. I felt like, you know, last year in a couple spots, we were a little short of that. Those spots that he was referring to was in the secondary and interior defensive line. But with 35 players returning from last year's two deep roster, continuity isn't an issue this spring, especially at the line of scrimmage. You, know, you look at both sides of the ball, um, we return a lot of key players. And, you know, that starts up front. Uh, on both sides, you know, really return everybody that played significant time. We need to make gains there. You know, I think we left that field and Brookings feeling like we lost a line of scrimmage on both sides and we need to put ourselves in position up front to win ball games. The Bobcats do have a new face, however, in its offensive line room with the addition of Al Johnson, who was hired this past January. That was a tough loss in losing Brian. You know, I think the way we were able to replace him with a guy like Al, I think, you know, he's just he brings a wealth of experience that I don't know that we could have found anywhere else. But one of his big additions this offseason that Brent Vegan addressed early in his spring ball presser was one of his 2023 walk-ons, defensive end Zach Cruz. The Missoula native was originally committed to the University of Montana in 2022, but had his offer rescinded after the use of a racial slur on a Venmo transaction from 2020 became public. Cruz ultimately enrolled at Montana State last fall and is receiving a second chance this spring with the Bobcats. I think as... 18, 19, 20, 21, and we have some 23-year-olds all the way up you know, on our roster right now. I think they all recognize that they've made mistakes. The light has, is, and they maybe shined on those mistakes quite like it did in, in Zach's situation. And you know, hopefully you move on and you become a better person on the other side of it. I, I think that's the message we've continued to pound on. On another note, Montana State shared earlier this week that nine of its veterans will not be participating this spring due to both injuries sustained last fall and off-season surgeries, but that he's looking forward to getting them back this summer. And we have numbers this spring that should allow us to practice the way we want to um, as long as we possibly can. And, you know, I think it uh, providing a real competitive environment is the key to guys getting better. In Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.